Hi, Heather the Hygienist here with Simply Silver Mouthwash, and I wanted to do a five-part series on what is gum disease, the difference between gingivitis and periodontal disease, and also the aids that you will need to be able to keep your teeth healthy for the rest of your life. So the first thing that we're going to talk about is gingivitis. Most people have heard about gingivitis, but most people also don't know the difference between gingivitis and what is known as periodontal disease. So gingivitis is basically inflammation of the gums, and you can see here on Mr. Chopper here that the pink is representing the gum tissue, but our teeth are anchored in bone. So our teeth are being held in by our jawbone. Gingivitis is inflammation of the gum tissue. Plaque is part of our saliva it's germs and bacteria, and it is gonna harden on your teeth every single 12 to 24 hours. So once it is hardened on your teeth, now it has gone from something that is soft and sticky to what's known as tartar or calculus, and it's just like getting a splinter stuck underneath your gum tissue. So now your gums are gonna get all red and puffy and they're going to bleed. Anytime you get bleeding, guys, anytime, it's not natural your gums should never ever bleed. So what's happening is your body is telling you that there's something wrong and you need to address it. It takes nine to 14 days to get gingivitis and about as long for it to go away. So the difference between inflammation, gingivitis, and periodontal disease is the bone. So once your gums have gotten past gingivitis, now your bone is involved. And what ends up happening here is you have a deeper pocket. Hopefully your dentist or dental hygienist is measuring your pockets every single time you go to the dentist. A healthy pocket is one, two, or three millimeters. I don't know if you can see this here, but this is what's called a probe. The first three markings are what is normal. You want a nice, tight, shallow pocket because you can keep that clean with toothbrush and floss. But what happens is once the inflammation is so bad and the gums are inflamed but your bone starts to deteriorate your pocket gets deeper so instead of it being tight and shallow one two or three now you're able to slip down further and get fours fives sixes honestly if you're past a six you should probably be getting some form of gum surgery done because it's very difficult to keep anything deeper than a six clean at home so once you have periodontal disease, now your bone is starting to deteriorate, okay? That's the difference between simply inflammation and disease, is your bone is now involved and literally bugs are eating away at that bone. So once you start to lose the bone, like I said, you don't grow the bone back. Now it's really a struggle for the rest of your life to keep your teeth healthy. It's not impossible, but it just makes it difficult. So I would encourage everybody to prevent it. You don't want to go down this road. I think people tend to disassociate their mouth with the rest of their body, and that's really the worst thing that you can do because if you have a disease in your mouth, you know, there's no fences in our bodies. So that disease is traveling through your bloodstream. It can cause coronary artery disease, strokes, diabetes, because if there is disease in your mouth, you have disease. So true health really starts with your mouth. So if your mouth is healthy, then you're healthy. But if there's disease on some level, then you are really not in a true state of health. So what we're going to do is address how we can get rid of gingivitis and how to deal with periodontal disease in a healthy way that is free of toxins from your commercial mouthwashes that I call cancer in a bottle. So the first thing that we're going to talk about will be using the manual toothbrush. So click on my next link because we're gonna discuss how to properly brush your teeth. And of course, you always wanna include with any dental regimen, Simply Silver Mouthwash.